So Remodeler has two modes of operation. The extract mode allows you to quickly generate an output mesh uh, based on the current settings. The edit mode is very cool and it actually allows you to go in and interactively make local changes to polygon flow and edge placement. So there's three options to control the polygon type of the output mesh. It can be triangles only. Quads only, or dominant quads, it just means that most of the polygons are going to be quads. So know that anytime you change the setting in this top section, uh, you'll need to pre-process the mesh again by hitting the start button. So. And once you're happy with the result, just hit the Make Lightweight Mesh button to generate the output mesh. The output mesh name uh, contains information about the geometry. So we can see here that this output mesh has 1,000 vertices and 1,200 faces. So in edit mode, there's two main phases. First phase generates this orientation field displayed as curved guidelines. These guides are used by the solver to naturally align the solution edges along the uh, contours and features of the input mesh. Second phase generates this beautiful, evenly distributed, uniform sized uh, grid of faces along the output while keeping the edges aligned to any sharp features that it finds. So one very cool feature of instant meshes is the ability to actually interactively control the polygon flow and edge placement with your mouse. So here we're going to try to create some flow loops around the eye and the mouth. So we we'll use the orientation comb tool. And we're just going to try to paint some brush strokes to tell the solver where we want the polygons to flow. Straight line down the nose. Curves around the mouth. Straighten up here. Maybe if we check the Solver, position solver. We see we're starting to get some nice flow around the eyes and mouth. You can use the uh, edge brush tool to actually uh, paint where you want some uh, edges to line up. Let's try it up here on the eye.
And when you're done tweaking, you just hit the Extract Mesh button. <coughs> and if you're happy with what you see, you just hit the Make Light Wave Mesh button. And this uh, head scan, which is from Lincoln 3D Scans, uh, had about 350,000 triangles. Output mesh has 9,400. 